everybody, it's Miss Ruthie. I'm here today to talk about the violin. So I've been playing violin since I was four years old. Um, it's been a while. My dad originally taught me, so it was something that we used to do together. Um, so to start with, let's just go over the basics of what's on this thing. Starting off with the top here, this is called the scroll. Now, almost all string instruments will have this. Um, it's called the scroll because, as you can see, it looks like a scroll, like a paper scroll that's rolled up. Going down from there, we have our pegs. Um, these are t for tuning the instrument, so if it sounds like really off, so let's say um, I need to tune it, I twist this peg here. <laughs> From there, we have our fingerboard, which is where I actually put my fingers down um, to play. Then down here, we have our bridge, which kind of looks like a bridge. See, like a bridge over maybe some water or even just a highway or something. Um, on my instrument, I have a little mute, which makes it so that the sound isn't as loud. Um, it's It just slips on over my bridge like this. That. Take that off here. I have some fine tuners on here, and then right here is my chin rest, which goes right there. Now, if you look at the bottom of my violin, you can see that I have a shoulder rest as well. Um, I have a very long neck, <laughs> so I need a shoulder rest to keep it so that my, my neck doesn't hurt. Some people can get away without a shoulder rest. I cannot, unfortunately. So, the violin as you can see, is part of the string family because it has four strings. We have E, A, D, and G. Now, these four strings can make a, like a huge array of different sounds, a huge array of different notes, things like that. So, um, the other part of the instrument that I need to actually play is called the bow. Now on this side here, we have actual horse hair. It's real horse hair. Um, horses are not hurt when when it's harvested. Don't worry. Uh, they they don't I don't they don't even notice. And then my bow here is actually made out of wood. Um, and then the end of my bow, I have this little nut here that I can loosen and tighten my hair as much as I need to. So. There we have it's loose. Now, if I were going to put my instrument away, this is how I want to put my bow away because if I leave it so that, or leave it where it's tight, um, my, my hair can stretch out and then I'll have a bow that won't work. So I'll tighten this back up so I can actually play a little bit later. Um, now, the other thing you need to, in order to play a violin is rosin, um, or actually any, any string instrument, um, you need rosin. So rosin is this, it, it usually comes in these little pucks and it's just a little thing you slide up and down your hair to make the uh, music, or the bow actually grip the string and make noise. Otherwise you won't get any noise out of it. Now, um, one of my favorite things about the violin is, like I said before, it's something I used to do with my dad. Um, I also really enjoy playing with groups of people. Um, it's called, called an orchestra. So we'll play with other violins, and then there's also usually violas and cellos and basses, and then some sort of some wind instruments and other brass instruments and things like that. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do. I also really enjoy playing in um, what's called a pit orchestra for musicals. That's my other favorite thing to do with violin. Um, so if you ever hear like music from a musical you can think of, usually it'll have like some sort of orchestra in it. Um, so just some basic notes here. Um, let's say, so I really like to express myself playing music as well. Um, so let's say I'm feeling really happy, we can go like... <laughs> We can play something like this. But my 
absolute favorite thing to play are fiddle tunes, which generally are a type of tune that was played back when, you know, back before CDs or radios or MP3s or anything. Uh, people would actually dance to these things. So um, I know you've heard, you've probably heard a few fiddle tunes because they are honestly commonly used on TV and things like that. So let's see if you can name this one. <laughs> wraps it up with my introduction. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to see you guys again soon and I hope you guys are staying safe at home. Bye!